All right, lists. This is the important part. This would be one that you want to listen to. Okay, FISBO expired. I'm preloading. I am moving towards a putting another button here, which will probably be out in two weeks, so I want to tell you about it. What it will do is it's going to pull the leads in rather than have me post them. And the reason that's better is because, like, guys, if you're in Las Vegas, you're off market update at 9 a.m. So you go pull them at 9.01, and you're going to have the most up-to-date um, expired, actively scrub. Uh, but right now, I just put them in there for you. So if you click on an expired, it will show you. I start on Monday, and I just load every day, seven days a week. And it will show you everything about it. One thing I do is I load them by mileage proximity from the zip code that you gave me when you either registered for this webinar or when you signed up. If you don't like that zip code, we're going to go change it, and I'll show it to you. But that's how we load. We, we don't pay attention to county. I pay attention to mileage, and then I subfilter by zip code or price. So those are automatically just going to show up. It'll say expired week eight, and then the next day I just keep loading to it, all right? You can also, if you want, you can upload any list you want. So if you're using a competitive list company, or if you're using someone like Boomtown or Tiger Leads, you want to, that's what new call list is right here. So from CSV, comma separated variable. So you may want to go back to your user guide, and that's where I showed you this right here. So look, if it's a big list provider, I've mapped it. You just tell me. I'll map your CRM to load, okay? If it's not, then you got to use that. And once you use that, you save it to your hard drive. Come over here, click Continue, give it a name. So let's just say it's your title company, gave you a list, okay? Now, again, remember, you've saved this to your hard drive in a CSV, right? Give it a name. I click Browse. It opens up my computer. I go Find the File. I double-click on it. It attached it right here. By the way, guys, the biggest little bugaboo I get on phone calls about, hey, my list won't load, is they forget to give it a name. So if you take that name out, you see the uploader doesn't highlight. And they, so you got to make sure that you give it a name, attach the file, click upload, and then right away it's going to load it over here to the left. It's ready to roll. It's got 10 people in it, and I'll load it on the 19th of February. Second or third way that you can load lists is from existing lists. Okay, So this is what I talked about at the beginning, that you can combine lists. You can combine them by type, time, or outcome. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Pick and filter lists. Give it a name. So down below is all my uh, lists that are over on the left. So any of them that I click on, it's going to automatically load me all these lists into one list, OK? Now I can, let's say I want to call the, the uh, four sale by owners in January. So I called it Steve January. Now I also have the ability to add filters. So filters are used on my first pass. If I call a list and I'm going to give them a descriptive call outcome, like interested, not interested, they are customizable by you. So I click that button. These are the default filters, okay? It's okay, so over here to the left are the people that you did not reach. So either you left them an automated voicemail or just hung up on them or you skipped them to the do not call list. So if I click any of these, it's going to redial them. Over here on the right are the call outcomes of live answers. So if I click on any of these, it will include them as well. And I can click close, click save as new list, and then Steve January with 130 people just appeared. Okay, from Cole Realty Resource, what's that? That's the just listed, just sold, the neighborhoods, the geographic. If you're in Canada, we're using telelisting. If you're in North America, or if you're in America, we use Cole. This is the only service that we outsource. We don't actually originate this ourselves. So. We do uh, have a license to sell it, so if you want to use this, uh, you can. It is included in the coaching program. So if I click Neighborhood Data, it opens up their interface, okay? Uh, by the way, you can see I opened up a new window, a new browser window, which is another reason I would like for you to use Firefox, Chrome, or Safari over IE, because IE tends to uh, disallow pop-ups from time to time. Okay, with this interface, I want to keep it simple. Okay, give me the name or the house number and give me the name of the street. Don't pay attention to direction, city, zip code. Um, I am campaigning and lobbying hard to have those things removed because they only serve to confuse my search. Uh, because I'm not giving you the entire United States. I'm just giving you your greater metropolitan area so I know these things. So the problem is if you put in Austin and it's actually in Rollingwood, it could miss it, and then it's frustrating. 
So just give it the house number and the street name, click search, and it goes out and finds it. So what am I doing here again, guys? I'm going to find a property, like maybe it's my listing, and I want to call everyone around it for an open house, or I want to call around it and tell them, hey, I'm listing you know, Steve Cortez's house for $300 a square foot. Wouldn't you like to know what your house would sell for? I know I would. Okay, so you can click everyone on the street. That would give me all the residents uh, homeowner name and phone number on Carlotta. You can click a radius around that, or you can click map search, which is my preferred method because this gives me a bird's eye view. This little blue pin right here is the residence. So you click freeform plotting, and then just pop the corners of uh, the streets and everything in this gray area, which they refer to as a paragon, I'm going to get. I click view available prospects, and here they all are, okay? They're all right here for you. Okay, now I have a couple of choices here. I could download them all to my computer if I wanted to mail them, or I can push them into Arch. I'm gonna push them into Arch. So the top, over top left where it says select for export, I can click all records or current pages. The, the uh, why they have that is you, if you accidentally download a thousand people and you don't wanna call a thousand people, there's a hundred per page. So just click pages. If you wanna do 300, click pages one through three, okay? Okay, so I can download to my computer or I click this radio button, it says automatically import to Arch. I click download. I get a positive confirmation that I have loaded that into my dialer. It'll be there in five minutes. I'm done with these guys. Okay, you can shut them down. When you do come over, the list is going to appear like that. It's going to say Cole with the address or if it's telelistings. If you want to rename it, just rename it. Okay, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and I'll just rename it for you. By the way, if you want it to come faster, again, you click this refresh button right here, and it'll be here in about four minutes.